Welcome back. This is Arcade Night. As the Emperor and his noble senators have come to a consensus on our next plan of attack, and I'll let you know all about it on today's episode. Plus, we're going to continue to fortify the great city of Rome, bringing it back to its former glory. So sit back on your comfy thrones, grab a golden chalice of your favorite tasty beverage as we get ready to play Imperial Rome Season 2! Well, we've returned to Rome, and we've got so much to do today. We've got to prepare Rome for the next war. We've got to talk about the next war, as requested by the uh, senators on akrealm.engine.com. But we're going to talk all about that. Uh, but first of all, let's let's drop off all these men into the garrison. Now, I'm going to drop off pretty much all of them. Uh, let's see. How many? Let's... um. Hold on to this cavern, though. But yeah, drop off all these men and do a little bit of upgrading before we drop them off. Rome is going to be completely protected. All right, I, I said I was going to give them, um, what, 10 engineers? So let's uh, get back to 15. There we go. And, and we're going to keep the elephant. We're going to keep the elephant on our side. So very good. Okay. We look like we're in pretty good shape. Uh, let's see the size. 699. That's pretty good. I think I'm going to put close to 1,000 in here. I just want to make sure that no one even considers attacking Rome. But now we get to manage Rome. A and my goal as Emperor Rufus is to ensure that Rome is brought back to former glory. So everything that's in the management tab, we're going to do. Everything in this manage this town tab, we will make sure is done before this season is over. Okay, so th there's things we'll do at the end that are boring, um, but what's something cool that we haven't seen yet? We've seen all of this stuff before. <sighs> Build a Praetorian camp? Oh my gosh. Are the gods shining down upon Emperor Rufus this day? Will we be able to recruit Praetorian Guard to, to join my subscriber night Praetorian Guards in protecting the Emperor? Will we be able to build our own Praetorian Legion like we saw earlier? We, we have to do this. We have to do this. Yes. Oh, I am so excited. Oh, it only takes 18 days and it's 1500. Oh, we're going to go into that's That's just a no-brainer. Wow. I am... I'm so excited about that. All right, so we need to hire another army. Uh, so let's see. Hmm, we can only hire auxiliary troops for now. Well, let's let's get some auxiliary cavalry. Let's do that. And uh, can we do anything in the marketplace? No. I think we've hired most of these men the last time we were here, so we need to let it reset. Okay. So w what kind of army are we looking at? Um, oof, terrible morale. We're going to need to fix that. Um, is there anything in the tavern? I, I remember last time I, I came here, there, there were no ladies at the night, so we may have to go. Ooh, fire archers. Ooh, I will hire all of you, good sirs. Excellent indeed. Oh, what are you selling? Ah, uh, furs. I don't think so. No, thank you. Ah, seller of scrolls. Should be scrolls. And some spice. Well, let's see. Book of Healing. I think we're good there. Hmm. I think this is for trading purposes. Fighting with swords. I wonder if this will increase my... Um... Power Strike or something, I wonder. Or is this just my tactics? Either way, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna get it either way. But I'm gonna put it at the top there. So I, I'm, I'm remembering to read it. And Rufus is so busy... That he always forgets to read his scrolls. We're going to go ahead and buy that scroll. Thank you. Thank you, good sir. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get set, get ready. And now we're going to talk about the plans that have been laid down by my senators on akrealm.engine.com. So I'll see you guys in a second.
My senators have been hard at work on akrealm.engine.com. And don't forget, we've got Decimus Nova Tenebris. He's the senator of Africa. We've got Joseph Kahaya Thrash as the senator of Judea. We also have Lucius Nova Leonide representing Armenia. And our latest senator, Constantine Byzantius Caesar. Uh, he is representing the Black Sea. Now, our senators have decided, and they've given me wise counsel on the next course of action, the next war. So, so let's talk about what we're going to do. So listen, guys, we have Rome, and that's great. We're going to fortify Rome even more, but they have decided to leave the South Party alone for now. Let them be weak. Let them be caught between several empires. Uh, but what they want to do is they have a grudge against the Dacians. And we're going to take on the Dacians next. And they have a, a couple of huge towns kind of in the center of their kingdoms, which are very hard to get to. Um, but I, I like their strategy. We're, we're going to kind of um, trap the South Party um, between um, our, our advancement into the Dacian territories and our placement at Rome. So they will pretty much be trapped on two sides. Um, and if they ever go to war against the North Party, that is a perfect time to attack because we'll just completely surround them. But in the meantime, we're going to kind of formulate a strategy. We'll probably scout some of these territories today after I build a little bit better army. And there, there are so many fortresses. There's one, two, three, four, five fortresses in two towns. So it's going to be a little bit of a war um, through some hostile territories. So I cannot wait. Well, a couple of lords from other factions have joined me. Um, that's North Party fact. North Party lords have uh, joined Nova Roma. So that's pretty awesome. We're going to have to go back to uh, Antioa soon. Oh, there's that legion. The 13th legion. Mm. Alright, we're, we're looking for a lady of the night in the tavern. Uh, to help out the morale of our men. Because there's none in Rome which is very saddening to me. Roman deserter? I don't think so. Who, who are you? Horse merchant. We're gonna give you give you a shot. Uh, the, the Emperor's celebrating. He is on a spending spree. Mm, nothing. You know, we may have to start looking for better horses for my Praetorian guard. Alright, let, let's let's talk to the Lady of the Night. Um, yes. Let's do it. Fantastic. Alright, let's see if this has helped out. I think we were we were at very low. There's another one. That's three North Party Lords that have left and joined Emperor Rufus. Okay, we're at high. Wow, she was, she was good at her job. Very good at her job. Okay, so this is the North Party. Um, hmm. I guess they didn't have any territories that they took with them. They've just come over to our side. That's fine. That is fine indeed. Okay, so now that we've taken care of that, there's one more thing I want to do. And, and I, I think... We can upgrade our onagers. Because now we can build artillery instead of onagers. Build. Okay. No, I guess I'm completely wrong on that. We just built two more onagers, which is completely fine. I thought there was an upgrade or something that I could do differently because my engineering is so high. In case you don't know, uh, Ember Rufus is a genius. Um, this is not 10. This is like 14. This is like 14. This is like 14. It's maxed out because he went to the glorious military academy in Antioa. It's it's the greatest military school in all the known world. And um, he's been trained there as, as well as his Praetorian guards. So he has some maxed out stats. Notice his strength is quite low. And uh, he's reading a book now, hopefully getting his power strike above 3. But that's not his speciality. His speciality is... Um, Military tactics and uh, engineering and um, definitely some trainer. All right, so let's do a little bit of scouting. Let's head into Dacian territory. Let's hit this fortress first and, and check out the situation there. What is 173? Okay. Yeah. 173. Not too bad. Okay, that's that's manageable. Let's see if we can make it over this way. And the rivers are crossable, which is also good to know. At least in, in some spots. Who are you? Uh, 188, so about the same. Under 200. Let's, let's head around this mountain. 
and hit this fortress. I believe the last time we tangled with the Dacians, I, I probably scouted somewhere close to this fortress. 200, so we can just assume that most of the fortresses are around 200. 192. Okay, again, around 200. What about the towns? Look at this. Look at how well protected this is. There's only one way to get it from this direction. Oh, I don't want to do that, but, um, 346. Okay, that's pretty decent. Let's take a walk around the streets and check out the station town. Don't, don't be scared of the Emperor coming through. Don't be scared. Oh, what a petty little walled fortress this is. Okay, wait, wait. Here we go. Crowded little town. Desperately needs to be civilized. These, these poor barbarians. Let me, let the Emperor get through. Do you know who I am? Am I going to have to get off Mithras to get through? Oh my goodness. While I wait, I'm just going to have to take a sip of my tasty beverage. I can't believe this. I, I can tell you need the engineering skills of um, Emperor Rufus already. Because you don't understand that you, that you need to build multiple uh, ways to get in and out of your town, people. My goodness. Are, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, all right, so we're, we're in the town. Yeah. That is a crowded gate indeed. So this is this is quite small. This is such a small little patch of land. Um that it shouldn't be too difficult to conquer, right? Oh my goodness. Alright. Let's head to the next place. Ah, Drobits. We've 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 been close to Drobits before, but not quite. I've sieged it. 360. Okay, so we get about 350 for the towns. And about 200 for the fortresses is a safe assumption. Well, this looks interesting. A little imposing here. Ah, uh, looks like it's not as crowded. Ah, yes. Now, this is nice. Now, we, we've been to Drobits before. We've definitely been here before. I do recall I was fond of it last time. And, and, and it's nice. It's very scenic. This... This little pond right in the middle of this town. The mountains in the background. It's glorious! It's beautiful! Well, guys, um, I, I think this is going to have to be the next course of actions. The, the, the senators have spoken, so we're going to head back to Antio. We're going to try to recruit um, some more of those uh, North Party lords who have defected uh, to Nova Roma. And also, we're going to build a glorious army! So I'm going to see you guys in a second. Well, a lord has announced their allegiance to the Dacians and has joined Nova Roma, I think... They are worried. They sense a war coming. I was just quickly checking the garrisons um, of all my border towns. And uh, it, it appears uh, Olivia and Nos are about 200. And these fortresses are a little over 100. So I'm really going to have to rely on my lords protecting um, the front lines and the borders uh, when we attack the Dacians. Rome is delivering! Look at this! An extra 16,000 from Rins from Rome. And then, um... 15,000 from Terrace from Rome. So that's over... Wow! 36, 37,000. Look at this. The profits. 42,000! Oh, that is beautiful. I am making my way back into Antioa. And, uh, yes, we have tingled before, sir. And you finally come over to join Nova Roma. Look at all these Roman lords that want to kiss the feet of the new emperor. Ah, stand in line, sir. Stand in line. I'll talk to you first, I suppose. Negative four, and you want to join me. Hmm. 814 Renown. You've got a decent family hmm and and it, it appears members of your family your brother is already a part of, of my empire I will accept you sir I will accept you I guess we need to give you a little village to make you happy how about you Lord Russi negative three huh ah Plansky Var indeed family members are coming over I'll accept you as well sir um, and then you, okay. Who are you, sir? I'm not familiar with you, but, um, 
I'll accept your pledge. And then, and then we have two barbarians, uh, it appears. Hmm. I've already accepted enough men. I already accepted enough men today. I don't think so. I don't think so. And I'd have to convince you to shave your beard. I appreciate the scar, sir. But um, it's just it's too much trouble. Too, too much trouble. So uh, I'm going to probably need to go ahead and hand out fiefs to these three lords really quickly. I wonder what we could do. I wonder what we could hand out to them. Hmm. I know there's... Um, everyone's been telling me um, who to hand this out to. So I think we're going to do that now. We've already handed out all these fortresses. Perhaps... Perhaps we could hand out a couple of villages. So what if I hand out this one? Um, yeah, Tika Fortress with Sala. That should go together. And then, hmm. What if I hand out this to another lord and this to another lord? to make sure that Italy is well protected. And if they do well by me, I'll hand them out some towns or fortresses later, but at least they'll have some little villages um, in Italy. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I, I think first and foremost, everyone, everyone on akrealm.engine.com, everyone in the comment section was, was telling me the same thing. Um, who to hand out... Uh, Utica too. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Grant one of my vassals a thief. Ah, Utica Fortress. And uh, wh where is he? Where is he? There you are. Glorious. So I'm going to go ahead and hand out all those villages to uh, all those other lords. And uh, once I'm ready, guys, I'm going to cut right back. See you in a second. Doing a little upgrading here. And uh, let's see what the elephant upgrades into. Okay, much better. Much better. Um, alright, so we are going to build a mighty army, but uh, first of all, I thought maybe we could visit the military school a little bit. And, uh, could we do anything else? Tracking, search, packing. Tracking, search, packing. How about search? Very good. Let's enlist a colleague. Let's do Claudius Jumper us this time. Um, and then troops. I don't think... There's really anyone I want to enlist at this moment. Okay. So what I'm going to probably do is drop off a lot of these men into the garrison. Because I, I just, I wouldn't use them, frankly. Auxiliary cavalry and the veterans, perhaps. Um, but n not you. The elephant, sure. We'll put you back in the elephant's group. All right. So... Is there anything here that I want to take with me before I hire a whole new group? Okay, Legionnaire Triaries and Precepts. Let's take all those Precepts. And, hmm, there's already some good stats in here. So that's probably a good way to start. Throwers of Fire Javelins, why not? And, um, hmm. I think everything else we should start from scratch. Ooh, Cataphract Cavalry. That may be important because the Dacians have pretty good cavalry. Pretty good cavalry, and they have pretty good onagers. So we may want to take a good group of cataphracts. What if I took 25 cataphracts? And I took about that much cavalry. Hmm. I want to take mainly veterans. Yep. Yeah. Let's do that. Bring the cataphracts up with the rest of them. All right. So I think the next thing we want to do is see if we can hire some groups. Yeah, so let's hire some good stats. And let's hire some archers. And there we go. You've got a new group. Indeed. Okay, bring, bring you in. Join my party, man. Join my party. And then, yes. Join my party as well. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and build this army together. Um, and then I'm going to cut right back, guys. And, and I think we're going to start heading to Dacian territory and perhaps start the attack today. Have you been a subscriber for a long time? Are you a big part of the comment section? Do you hit that like button often? And because of all of this, do you feel like you should become the next subscriber knight? 
Then if so, make sure you let me know in the comment section and perhaps you'll be the next subscriber knight to join my Praetorian Guard and protect Emperor Rufus. Well, interesting developments. The South Party has declared war against the North Party. Hmm, that, that kind of, my goodness, that really wants me to change my tactics. Now that the South Party is at war with the North Party, should we go back and attack the South Party? Yeah, look at this. It's, it's going to be taken apart be before we can even get to it. Oh, guys, I think I think we should. I, I should... Oh, no, I sh we should go against the will of the senators, the will of the people. Oh, my goodness, guys. I don't know. I think we're going to have to head back to Rome and check out the situation from the front lines. Uh, it, see if there's anything left by the time we get there. We're making our way to the front lines. Kind of see what's going on here. How does this fortress look? 187. I don't really want fortresses. But... Is this his castle? Oh, talk to me, sir. Ooh, look at this relationship. Perhaps we can grab some castles without sieging some... Without storming the walls at all. Oh. Huh. Sir, I'm pretty sure that is your fortress. Yes. Hmm. I'm Emperor Rufus at your service. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, let's speak in private. Of course. <laughs> Desperate times call for these things. Uh, how do you feel about politics in general? Keep faith, faith with your promises. Do not do injustice to others. Sometimes it's hard to balance those. Stick with the people you trust. I agree, sir. What about Emperor Galba? Mm, I agree. I have to tell you something. Would you support me to be Emperor of Rome? Okay. Um, hmm. I think this is fair. I would end these wars and, and unite Rome once again. Would you pledge your allegiance to me, sir? Would you take your fortress with me? Make your decision, man. Make your decision. Oh. I felt that was really close. All right, moving on, moving on. By, by the way, a, a group of archers joined me. I'm not going to let them join my party because I've got too many men to begin with. 200 in this fortress. Hmm. This is what I really want. I really want these towns. Let's check out these. Who's leaving me? Lord Caddy Silly has renounced his allegiance to the North Party. Wow. They are leaving in droves from the North Party. Who do they even have left? Who do they even have left? North Party... Wow, look at this. Look how desperate they are. What about the South Party? Just as desperate. What about Nova Roma? All right, no, um, that's North Party. I was like, oh, that's not looking too great. Nova Roma, yes. We have so many more, so much more territory. Really, okay. What? Look at this. North Party and the West Party have made peace. So the North Party is completely concentrating on the South Party. Oh, and they are after this fortress. Look at this. All right, so they're amassing a decent force there. What about here, 359? Could we do that? Oh, this is, this is tough. This is tough. 190, and, and let's check out this last one. 400. Ooh. It's about 500. Hmm. It would really cut them off, though. It would really cut them off. Say if we took these two, and we would almost strangle this part. Yeah, I think that's the best thing to do, to go, go up through the middle. I, I do agree. I do agree. Yeah. Guys, we've got an interesting task ahead of us. My goodness. Look at this. I've always, I've always liked this, this particular town. 
I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section. Should, should we go up to the Dacians or should we seize the opportunity and attack the South Party once again? Also, I definitely want to hear from my senators on akrealm.engine.com. I know the Emperor just asked for your wise counsel, but things change. So I want to know what you guys have to say. Should we just concentrate on the Dacians or should we? Take advantage of this opportunity and attack the South Party. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. Well, I had a glorious time in today's episode. I just love being the Emperor of Rome. It feels fantastic. But don't forget, guys, I need your wise counsel in the next course of action. Should we continue going after the Dacians? Or should we turn our attention to the South Party now that they're at war against the North Party? Also... Remember, if you believe you should be the next subscriber night because you're just involved in the comment section so often, you've been around for a long time and you hit that like button often, then you let me know down in the comment section and perhaps you'll be the next subscriber night to join my Praetorian Guard back there. And guys, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Guys, it's by far the best and easiest way to help this channel grow. Also, it's one of the ways to become a subscriber knight. Also, if you're not a subscriber yet, uh, what are you waiting for? Don't make me take out my sword and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Ah! Also, guys, um, I just want to thank you for joining me. I had a wonderful time, and I'll see you next time on Imperial Rome Season 2.